In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a two-way lookup in Excel. Now, what I mean by that is how to create a worksheet where you can specify two parameters and then return a value based on that. So what I have here, I have 12 months on the left column and four parts on the top row. And the four parts represent you know, four separate parts that any store will sell. I have their sales numbers for all of the 12 months listed here. And I want to be able to create a lookup function that's going to allow me to specify the part number that I want as well as the month that I want. Now this example can be modified to use in a many different situations, but this is the example that I have here. So in order to do this, what I'm going to need is the match and the index function. I'm not going to use the HLOOKUP or the VLOOKUP at all. And what I want is I want to enter the part number here, the month that I want here, and have the sales numbers appear in this box here. And I'm going to show you two quick ways to do this. So let me begin. I want to use a match function first to figure out the column with the part number in it that we want to use. And a quick note here, I'm going to explain how to use the match function briefly, but I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'll go into a lot of detail on how to use it and what everything means in a separate tutorial. So let me begin with a match function equals match open parentheses. Now I need the lookup value and I want to use a part number that I enter in this cell. So that's my lookup value there comma, the lookup array, which is going to be the part numbers, comma, and then the match type. I'm going to put zero, so it's going to be exact, so the part number has to exactly match, but I could also put in a one or a negative one. And if I put a one in there, it's going to find the largest value less than or equal to my lookup value. If I put a negative one in there, it's going to find the smallest value greater than or equal to my lookup value. But here I want zero because I want an exact. So I'm going to close the parentheses and hit enter. Now NA comes up because I haven't put anything in the part number cell. So let me go ahead and do the month also equals match open parentheses. I'm going to highlight all of the months for, or no, sorry, lookup value, the cell where I want to enter the month, comma, my lookup array is going to be all of the months, comma, my match type, I want exact. Now note, just because it's exact, I, it's not case sensitive. So if I type in July with a capital J or a low, lowercase j, it's still going to find July. Close parentheses, enter. Now what these two match functions are going to do is provide the location of the cells that I want. So if I put part number in here for ASD-02, it's going to tell me that that's in the second column. So ASD-01 is column 1, ASD-02 is column 2. Similarly, if I put the month in, say, March, it's going to tell me that's in the third row. Now, second column and third row is relative to where you selected. So I started here and selected over. If I had selected this cell and gone all the way over, ASD02 would be in column three. So it's relative to the array that you selected. Similarly with the months, I started at January and selected down. That's why March is going to be the third row. Had I selected from one row above January down for my table array, March would be the fourth row. And the table arrays I'm talking about are, if you click the match function here, or actually the lookup array, it starts in cell D2, so right there. So that's what I'm talking about. Now the next thing is to use these references to give me a value. And for that you want to use the index function. So in the sales box right here, or the cell for the sales, I want to hit equals index open parentheses. Now the first thing that I want here is my array, my table array, so where I want to get the values from. And since my table is organized like this, 
I want to get these values the sales data then comma now I need my row number well my row number goes by month so that's going to be this cell for the match function comma now my column number I want to be for the part number so the second or the first match function here now close parentheses and hit enter and you notice it returns 285 which is the value for part ASD02 for March right there so now if I change this to May it's gonna give me 232 if I change the part number to ASD01 we're gonna get 222 for May and so that's how you can do a two-way lookup in Excel. Now let me show you how to make this one formula. What I did here is I used two match functions and an index function all separate in all separate cells. So you can actually combine them, but it does become slightly more tricky. So all I want to do is replace these references here with the actual match function that I want to use. So I'm going to hit escape. I want to get the row number first. So it's going to be this match function. So I'm simply going to copy this and paste it right here for the row number. Similarly, I'm going to do that for the match function for the column. Copy that and paste that right here. So notice nothing changes, but now I can delete these two cells. And if I change anything up here, say now I want July, the sales change accordingly. So let me quickly show you all I did there. Before I had the two match functions separately. Now I have them all in one. So you want the index function, open parentheses, then select the table where you want the data to come from, so the sales data and then all you need is a row number and a column number and the match function gives you the row number and the column number so the formulas that I went through in the beginning for the match exactly the same way just put them in here and that's all this is if it's easier to look on this spreadsheet that I'm using here you can get that from the website I have it on teachexcel.com and you can download it and view it while you're watching this additionally I'm going to upload uh, another lookup tutorial and there I'm going to explain in more depth the index and the match function and a few ways that you can use them to replace the VLOOKUP and the HLOOKUP. But for now, this is how you can do a two-way lookup in Excel.